we are at the forefront of climate change. When we have a warming, Arctic response is the quickest. We can measure it directly here. Swiss Camp is a calibration site. We built it in 1990 to observe and study the climate. When you look around 360 degrees, you only see horizon and clouds. It feels like you're in the middle of the moon. It is amazing the isolation you have. Since 1990 to today, we had more than two degree centigrade warming on an annual basis. Every year, the entire ocean around the world is moving up by one millimeter just because of the additional melt in Greenland. We actually see the direct response of the climate change to our infrastructure. The station was level with the surface. Since 2000, the station was growing out of the ice and collapsed twice. The station is falling apart because it's melting away. Once we reach the point that melting occurs up to the highest point, Greenland will disappear. Eventually, we'll have a global sea level rise of five meters. This will happen maybe in 50 to 100 years to coastal cities. You have to rebuild your entire town. There will be a a migration in the order of three to five hundred million people away from the coast and that will be quite a big unrest. Sometimes it's frustrating. I don't see any global actions taken but I can see how Greenland starts to disappear. But still people don't really respond. I think there is some kind of a myth that, oh, we need the scientists to solve this problem. Science is there to give an insight, but the community together with scientists have to solve the problem. Having spent my career focused on data, facts and science, I can say for certain that we need to change. But I can't tell you how to change. I can only remind you to think of this place, our world. Think of its beauty, its significance, and then make your contribution, big or small, to create a difference.